Again, good evening, uh, fellow Ambazonians. I'm so sorry for the technical uh, difficulties we are having uh, here in the studio. Uh, but again, I'm glad to come back to you. Good evening, if you're on ground zero. Good evening or good afternoon if you are anywhere in the USA. On ground zero, I know for sure it is good evening. In Europe, I know for sure it is also good evening. In Asia, uh, probably good night. But again, I'm glad to have you here in the studio with me. I'm glad to have you here on the screen with me. I am very excited about the message that I bring to you today from your interim government uh, uh, pertaining to the elections that took place in French Cameroon uh, last Sunday. I want to encourage each and every one, please invite your friends, hit the share button. I will sit here for about 10 minutes for those watching through the social media to get on board the broadcast. So please, if you have just joined, go ahead, hit that share button, hit that share button and invite uh, others to join. I want to be able to make sure that uh, everybody, everybody, everybody who wants to listen to this broadcast live is here uh, with us. So please go ahead and hit that share button. Go ahead, hit that share button, invite everybody to be part of the broadcast. Again, I will take 10 minutes, 10 minutes to wait for that to happen. Thank you very much. Again, thank you for joining the broadcast. Good evening, those of you from Ground Zero. It's a pleasure to come into your home today with this very special broadcast. Again, I'm coming to you to speak on the subject of last weekend's elections in French Cameroon. I also have a very important announcement to make in respect to the lockdown, the 10-day lockdown that we instituted a week ago. Maybe I should just say it right now. Beginning tomorrow, starting tomorrow the 10th, the 10th of October, you Ambazonians, you are free to go out for regular business. That is message for you from your interim government. Again, starting tomorrow, you are okay, you are free to go out uh, for your regular business. So please, uh, pass the news around, shops can be open, business as usual, but we want everyone to remain very, very vigilant. Every one of you remain very, very vigilant. The, you did a great job. You did an awesome job stopping French Cameroon from conducting elections in our country. And I want to let you know, we here at the interim government deeply appreciate it. I am going to bring you the broadcast, the presentation right away. We cannot get Facebook to work, I'm sorry. Uh, if you were expecting to watch this on Facebook, maybe you will have to get it later. But I cannot keep uh, <coughs> ground zero waiting. I cannot keep ground zero waiting. I would have to do the presentation. This is television, of course. And uh, you don't keep television waiting. I will bring you the presentation as uh, I prepare it. Thank you again for tuning in. And uh, fellow Ambazonians, good evening. I come to you today to address three vital issues. Number one, the uncertainty surrounding the fate of our president, Sisiko Julius Ayoktabe, and the nine other leaders held with him. Number two, 
the successful boycott of French Cameroon elections in our territory. And number three, I will be speaking on what lies ahead. That is, call it the road ahead. After the successful boycott of French Cameroon elections. A week ago, we brought to you impeccable intelligence we received of plans by Paul Bia's regime to assassinate our president, C. C. Julius Ayoktabe, and the nine other leaders detained with him. The assassination, we learned, was planned to take place just before French Cameroon elections, precisely on October the 5th. Right after we received the information, we made sure it was passed into the ears of the president and the other nine leaders being detained with him. A few days after we got the piece of information, we observe a certain change in the pattern of behavior in the guards in said the facility where Sisiko was being held or is being held. Visitors who had been visiting them began to complain that they were being turned back each time they showed up to visit with the detainees. They said Gendarmes guarding the facility would tell them to go back and come on a different day. Essentially, the visitors were being sent away, and such visits became irregular. Previously, visitors had been allowed to see them once a week, every week, at least for those who were on their visitors' list. A number of guests on their list of regular visitors were no longer allowed to see them on a weekly basis. The last time somebody saw or visited them was, was since last Wednesday, that is October the 3rd. Other visitors who were on schedule to visit them on Thursday and Friday, that is, that is last Thursday and last Friday, were sent away. Some of them have reported that the manner in which they were sent back was very disturbing as well as suspicious. They have said that the guards or gendarme officers on duty would literally walk them out of the compound, out of set, and make sure they got into a taxi cab before they took off. Yesterday, Monday, October the 8th, those who went to the detention facility to visit the president and others reported that they too, like those previously reported, were denied access to President Sisiko. They have said that they were instructed by the gendarmes guarding the facility that going forward, Visits to Sisiko and the other detainees have been indefinitely, indefinitely suspended, and no reasons were given for the action. Now, this certainly is a very troubling development. We have no idea whether they are alive or not. At this moment, Considering the threats of execution with a timeline of October the 5th that was already leaked out, the interim government is worried about the fate of the leaders and, of course, every Amazonian should be worried as well. We note that they have no access to lawyers for a long time now, not even lawyers who filed the Harbis Corpus petition on their behalf, have been allowed to see them or meet with them. Sisiko and others had protested and refused to meet or see French Cameroon government appointed lawyers who were forced upon them during some organized interrogations on the grounds that 
They had the right to pick their own attorneys. The French Cameroon, French Cameroon refused them that right. And so in protest, Sisiko and the rest severed all ties with the government lawyers. Lawyers who fight the habeas corpus for their immediate release have never spoken to them, talk less of meeting with them. At this moment, only the Republic of Cameroon knows what is happening to our leaders and should anything, anything happen to them, Paul Beer and the regime will be held responsible. At this moment, the interim government is still hoping that come Thursday, the 11th, when they are supposed to show up in court for the Harpus Corpus appeal hearing, that we shall see them. However, it's not going to be business as usual if they are not seen and if their whereabouts remain unknown. We are asking every Ambazonian, both in the diaspora and at home, to get ready. Get ready for an all Ambazonian insurrection. Any moment, any time from now, should anything happen to our leaders. We have braved more than enough guns and bullets already to cover and stay in the comfort of our homes. Why the fate of our president, Sisiko and others remain unknown. Again, they are supposed to be appearing in court on Thursday, a day from today. We are tempering our wrath with patience till Thursday. We will come back to you with a plan action. In the meantime, we ask that you keep them in your prayers. Let's all wait and see. Now to the election and the boycott of last Sunday, fellow Ambazonians. If we have ever sent a message about our resolve to severe all political ties with French Cameroon, if the world has ever heard and seen our resolve to be self-governing, they saw it last Sunday. From the Mongo through to every town, village, and quarter to Inkambe, you all, I mean you all, send that one message that Ambazonia is for Ambazonians and that we now dictate our own destiny and that French Cameroon no longer has any legitimate authority over us and our territory. You on Ground Zero told the whole world that you have your own government, your interim government, your own president, and your own leaders from whom you take instructions. You told the world that neither Paul Beer nor President-elect Camto is your president, and that the French Cameroon flag has no more right of space to fly our skies. On behalf of the entire interim government, please accept a big congratulation, a big thank you, thank you, thank you to FACO, thank you to Meme, thank you to India, thank you to Bakasi, thank you to, to Kupe Maniguba, thank you to Lebialem, thank you to Mezam. Thank you to Bui. Thank you to Ngoke Tunja. Thank you to Ndonga Mantum. Thank you to Momo. And of course, thank you to Menchum. Thank you too to Boyo. And may God bless and sustain your courage and your resilience. If French Cameroon and its leaders didn't get the message of October 1st, they surely got this one of last Sunday. We equally extend our heartfelt appreciation and another big thank you to our restoration forces who braced the streets of Ambazonia to defend our territorial integrity against the intruders and provocateurs of French Cameroon 
to force their election on us. We thank God for you. And we continue to pray that he continues to protect you, guide you, give you wisdom, and instill more courage and bravery upon you all. Some among you, I mean some of our bravest restoration forces, were cut down during the election resistance. We feel the pain in their families and loved ones. However, may you rest comforted by the fact that they died doing just what they vowed to do, to defend and to fight for a free Amazonia. We feel the pain of their wives, the pain of the children, their sisters, their brothers, and their parents. Our promise to you, our heroes, and to your family is that by God's grace, by God's grace, after he has delivered Boya into our hands, we shall never forget about you and the sacrifice you died for. Our streets and parks shall be decorated with monuments that remind generations yet unborn of your sacrifice. Yours shall never be forgotten. Rest in peace. About the victory of Professor Maurice Cantor in the French Cameroon elections of last Sunday, the acting president, Dr. Sarko, on the evening of the vote, when it had become obvious that Professor Cantor was winner of that election, sent a congratulatory message to him. In the message, Dr. Sarko reminded President-elect Canto of the sovereignty of the two countries and urge, I mean, the urgent need, the urgent need for the unconditional release of our leaders in French Cameroon detention centers and the need to pull out French Cameroon troops from the southern Cameroon territory. Of course, Dr. Sarko was by no means endorsing the vote because none of it took place in our territory. What Dr. Sarko did is what foreign leaders do when their neighbors conduct successful elections. I guess the questions many want to get answered now are, how does the election of Professor Kanto play into the current state of a revolution? Are we going to suspend the revolution to test his own goodwill, to give him a chance to call for dialogue or negotiate with this government, with his government? That is, a bare hand's power to him? The answer to these questions is simple. We have said again and again, and let me say it again now. We ceased from being part of French Cameroon since October 1st, 2017. The boycott of their elections last Sunday should act as a reminder to it and speaks to that fact that there isn't any situation under which we will suspend the revolution to dialogue or negotiate with anyone, not even with the United Nations. If anything, what we should remember vividly is that Professor Kanto is a product of the same system, the BS system that has strangled our people and our territory for years. Professor Kanto comes from the Bamleki tribe, the tribe that gave hundreds of millions, we should remember, they gave hundreds of millions francs to Bia to use in sponsoring the war. The war that has seen our brothers and sisters, our mothers and our fathers maimed and displaced. Kanto never condemned it. Professor Kanto in his victory proclamation yesterday just couldn't as much as acknowledge the fact that we are more than two geographical cardinal points which is simply referred to as the Northwest and the Southwest or 
Anglophones. Does anyone really think Professor Camto is that naive and ignorant as not to know we detest those Northwest, Southwest Anglophone appellations when they choose not to recognize us for who we inherently are? They call us Northwesterners and Southwesterners or as simply as Anglophones. Professor Camto should be reminded that we detest those labels. We are not mere Northwesterners and Southwesterners. We are Southern Cameroonians or call it Ambazonians. Until Professor Camto begin to use the rightful designations in referring to us, any pretense that he would want to resolve the present conflict should be seen just as another plot to continue the colonization and subjugation of all of us in as in the days of Ahijo and Bia. Hell no! We are not giving up now. We are not about to lay down our defenses. We are not about to look back. We are not about to return to the vomit. Freedom is sweet. Who tastes it? and let it go. Professor Camto has not come anywhere near convincing us we can sit on the same table with him for some form of negotiation. Not that he doesn't seem to have a good understanding of the problem. No. The problem is he, like Paul Beer, are of the same school. They both have just the same solution a one and indivisible Cameroon. That's why all he did yesterday was to promise the release of our leaders and some compensation to those who have been hurt in the conflict. He carefully avoided mentioning the word Southern Cameroons or Ambazonia. In fact, he has referred to us as secessionists during his election. He said the solution to the conflict is a 10-state federation. That means when you put down the proceeds from Sonora, they are divided into 10 or will be divided into 10. You put down the proceeds from the CBC, they are divided into 10. You put down proceeds from Pamo, and what about the proceeds from our timber? They will be divided into 10 because they want 10 states. And guess who will continue to manage those corporations? And where the corporations will continue to pay taxes? Of course, La Republic du Cameroon. That will never happen again. We have no love for even a two-state federation. That moment is gone. We are resolved that nothing, nothing, short of our own country, a free and independent Federal Republic of Ambazonia shall satisfy us. You can count on this interim government for that. Fellow Ambazonians, please shine your eyes. Do not be deceived by the humble and subdued looks of Professor Canto. You never can read the hard construction on the face. Shine your eyes. See who is standing right behind Professor Kanto. It's a Muna. Another Muna. Akere Muna. We are literally back to the era of prayer unification politics. When Muna the father betrayed Foncha. And in extension, the rest of us all, for mere greed and position with Ahijo, here we are at the verge of reclaiming what Mona traded us all for, our independence. And another Mona shows up. Guess what he is talking about? Akere Mona is talking about a 10 state federation, of course, like Kanto. This country, Ambazonia, must now, once and for all, cast behind, reject this generational bad luck. That is the Munas, 
to our faith. From Tandem Mona to Ben Mona, Amma Mona, and now Akere Mona. Shine your eyes. When you think for a second of tolerating Tanto, see the Mona standing behind or next to him and ask yourself, what good, what good can come from a Mona? Having said that, we welcome Professor Kanto as President-elect of French Cameroon. We wish him well and hope that Bier doesn't steal the victory from him as in 1992 with the SDF. Should that happen, we hope Kanto would have learned from the case of Ivory Coast years ago to rally the Bamelikis together to fight and retain that which is theirs. The Federal Republic of Ambazonia looks forward to a cordial relationship with Cantos Cameroon and sitting down to discuss how to formally part our ways. In the first week of Cantos takeover, we expect him to release all Ambazonians in illegal custody in French Cameroon. We expect him to pull out all French Cameroon troops from our territory and withdraw all their administrators too. Should Kanto fail to do this and lay any claims, any claim whatsoever on an inch of our territory and our people, maybe the claims that not all Amazonians want independence, then we shall challenge him to a United Nations sponsored referendum on the question of our sovereignty. Fellow Ambazonians, God is fighting for us. Let's go to bed tonight, taking what has happened in French Cameroon as yet another milestone that pushes us closer to that great reunion day in Boya. Our resolve to prosecute this war and take back our land remains unshaken. Never you think of giving up. God bless you. God bless Ambazonia. We must live free or die fighting. No Ambazonia, no French Cameroon. Good night. Asoblitia Ojon Bayane Yakono Ayana Fiano Manto Mango Oh no Anneme Kongo Y Kachimanova Hetaman Mabinobe Kongo Y Anneme Kongo Y Kachimanova Nere Kerewa Rengabem Bengoku Y Anneme Kongo Y Kachimanova Madame Tiswa Rengabem Kongo Y Ane me kongo yi ka chima nyo ba Nere kere ware nga be me doko yi Nere timo E chandu mo manyu kwa yi ga timo Oh no Samuel ebe vanga lo profet de la sape Akwa mama regina nda nga chem Ane me kongo yi ka chima nyo ba E tama de mare nga be me kongo yi Ane me kongo yi ka chima nyo ba Nere kere ware nga be me ndoko yi Ane me kongo yi ka chima ufotabe Manda mchiswari nga be me kongo yo Ane me kongo yi ka chima mbinjonga Nere kere ware nga be me kongo yi Eee ma ima yi Ere timo Manda mare nga be me kongo yi Ere timo Eee ma ima yi Ere timo Nere kere ware nga be me ndoko yi Ere timo Bridget Ndiyewa Sam Mbiwan Akong Mr. Mbiwan Oh no! Etandu Momo Anywa Chikwai Ame nyo me kore are kanju ame Ane ma nyo me nge se yu ake me kore Ame nyo me kore are kanju ame Ndebe kwa ama me nge se me kenju bewe Ame nyo me kore are kanju ame Atoba se ame nge se me kenju bewe 
Ame me kore we Ame nyo ame kore are kanju ame Ndebe kwa ama me ngese me kenju be we Are kanju ame Atu vasi ame ngese me kore we Are kanju ame Ndebe kwa ama me ngese me kenju be we Ha! Dr. Esim Daniel, oh no! Ah, mofo tabe Oh no!